install his Grace Examiner X. You get the download link through the description below. This needs to be installed on the computer to be used as server. Open his Grace Examiner X. You can get the default username and password from the download page. This is our dashboard. Now, we will upload the exam module created by His Grace Exam Maker. Click Manage Exams on the left menu. Click Upload Exam Module button on the top left. Select the Exam Module file created using His Grace Exam Maker. Click Yes to activate it as well. We now have it as the active examination. Right click to see extra functions. Examinees. These are the examinees attached to the exam module. Settings. Check the box if you want examination connection to be created automatically each time you open the application. Then click Save Settings. We click the Live button. Now, let's start the connection so that the examinee's computers can be connected to this computer. Click Start Connection. The status bar changes to green. On the status bar, we can see the IP address of the this computer. It is 127.0.0.1. This means that this computer has not been connected to a network. It has now changed the IP address, starting from 192. Meaning, the computer is now connected to a network. Now, let's configure the client computer to be connected to this computer. Make sure His Grace Examiner is installed on the client computer. You get the download link through the description below. Open His Grace Examiner. You can get the default username and password from the download page. Click the Settings button on the left menu. Change the mode to Server Mode. Type the IP address of the server computer. We set the application startup mode to be examinee login page. That is, the application will automatically switch to examinee login page each time you open the application. Click Save Settings. Let's log out. It automatically switched to examinee login page due to our settings. The status bar color is still red because it's not yet connected. It changes to green because it is now connected to the server. The examinee can now log in with its username and password and click login. On the server, we can see the number of connected computers and their status. To use any of the remote control on the left, you must select at least a connected computer. Let's send a notification message. Here is the examinee receiving the message. Let's get a screen capture from the examinee's computer. Let's check out the examinee's examination performance. We can export the results to Microsoft Excel. We have now successfully conducted examination over the network.